excited. Our next guest is back. She is a no-nonsense trainer on NBC's The Biggest Loser. She motivates and inspires. I know. She motivates us all. She inspires contestants and viewers alike into changing their lifestyles. And she does that with her own brand of tough love and certainly enthusiasm. Take a look at her in action. People at the gym severely injure themselves trying that, and I've only tried it in the privacy of my own home. It is well, very difficult to do that. It's really scary. Yeah. yeah, it's very scary. It's very intimidating, but it's a really good benchmark for the contestants because they get to a place where they physically can, right? And they overcome a fear, and being able to face down fears really stretches that emotional fabric and allows them to become more brave in other facets of their lives. And that takes so much core strength, but it takes so much emotional strength. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, no. You and I were chatting oh, backstage. No. Oh, no. Your beautiful daughter, Lackenzie, is three. Yes. Phoenix is just a baby, what, a year and a half, maybe? Oh, he's, yeah, he's two in uh, three months. I'm so funny. I know. Now, no. when you did not have children. Yeah. You would often say yeah. you have to make the yeah. tough choices. Yeah. Moms can find time for their own fitness. Yeah. And then I saw you a few months later in this big, beautiful news story showing a little bit of home life and your busy work life. And I literally heard you say, you, you busted yourself. You're like, yeah, since the kids uh, working out is trying to muster the strength to get the wine glass to my mouth on the sofa at the end of the night. And I'm like, finally tell the truth. Yeah. yeah. There was a judgment period. There was a little bit of a, a transition period. It was, oh, it's, it's hard. It's hard, right? Holy cow. It's hard. She said to me, that's I mean, why you have a dog when I saw her this morning. <laughs> well, because you look, she looks so good. And I was like, why don't you age? And I was like, oh, you don't have kids. <laughs> You look phenomenal, of course. Aww. You must be finding the balance. I have found the balance, but I, I absolutely appreciate so give some how advice hard to it other is. busy moms. Now you know how it's done. You're finding your footwork. Yeah. What are you yeah. doing? Because clearly you are making time for you. Well, the first thing is how you train is important. You want to be able to get a very fast workout to be a very effective, effective. workout. So techniques are key. But with that said, um, trade off with your partner. So mm. it's like, all right, I'm going to go for a run. You watch the kids. Okay, now I'm going to go for a bike ride. You watch the kids. Bring DVDs into the house because my daughter thinks it's hilarious. And, right. you know, we'll do down dog next to me or whatever. So. Oh, that's cute. Bring you them can in. exercise in front of the kids because then you're showing a positive example to them. That's, it, you know, she right. finds it to be the funniest thing in the world. So does my son. So. Oh, look. Oh, oh I know. We, oh. And that's, there's Lou and I. She's we, so uh, big. Lou is so tall. He's enormous. She's wow. as tall as a five-year-old. She, at 12 years old, she's going to be towering over me. Uh, but, wow, uh, honey, was, by 10. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. Uh, in that picture, though, of course, that's another good tip is giving your kids things that they still love like a potato chip, but something that's a healthier version, like you, a pop chip. I'm an investor in that company. So I love pop chips. I like example. the black pepper ones. For, no, for real. Barbecue. I love the, the black pepper ones. I will have them send you a whole bunch. Black I guarantee pepper. you tomorrow at your black door pepper. they'll have everything. Okay, black pepper only. Okay. Check. Got it. Now, I want to know about the motivational tours that you're doing yeah. now. Are they physical and mental? Like, should people come in workout clothes? Or is it like a discussion and you're working on the nuts and bolts of discipline what what is it like it's it's working on the nuts and bolts it's yep. a motivational speaking tour because the reality is everybody knows 
what a healthy food is. Everybody knows you got to exercise. The real question becomes, how come people aren't doing it? And the very same things that hold you back with regard to your health are the exact same issues that hold you back professionally, romantically. And so the work that I do during the show is called Maximize Your Life. You can go to www.jillianmichaelslive.com to get we'll all the info. We'll We'll put up all the dates oh, on our site, too. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. And it's, it's all the behind the scenes of Biggest Loser. It's that deeper work that you do that really helps somebody get out of their own way, harness their potential, and pursue their dreams and goals to make them a reality. So I know that you're also working with uh, Curves, the, yes. the, the gym chain, which uh, is huge. I know. And I figured... I bet you every gym organization, you know, large and small in the country has made you that offer. Why did you pick Curves to work with? That's such a great question. The answer is because these guys are everywhere. Right. They have 3,600 locations in the U.S. alone. They're affordable. They have a trainer there or a Curves coach there for everybody, so I don't have to worry about safety and right. I don't have to worry about people understanding the fitness information so it's intimidating and I love their whole attitude and mentality it's about acceptance it's about making women feel safe that's what I and thought it's about saying. it's 30 minutes I get some results I think that's what they've done really really well yeah. as as a group is it, that perception that everyone is welcome here and there truly will be no judgments it seems like yeah. a very inclusive Yes, gym very for women much so. instead of exclusive. Yeah. And so I basically just came in and revamped the circuit so you'll get those results just a little quicker. A little quicker. Yeah. Yeah. A little quicker. A little quicker. All right, we're going to do a little fun rapid fire. Uh -oh. I actually love this particular rapid fire, uh -oh. and I don't know the answer to most of these. Weirdest hidden talent. Um, um, oh, no, I have no talent. I'm talentless. <laughs> motivational tour and don't forget you can even find her waiting for you at curves across the country up next like 